Hello chess friends and welcome to Yazard of Chess channel and welcome to an incredible game from the Computer Rapid Chess Championship Super Finals that you can follow now on chess.com. Uh, we have here the eternal battle between the two most powerful chess engines in the world. We have here the battle between Stockfish 17 and the Lila C0. And as I'm recording this video, the result is already a decisive one. Stockfish has a clear lead, already a plus six result after 54 games, which is really, really, I think, a huge gap already. And the new version of Stockfish is really powerful. We have covered already one game. So we'll continue, of course, to follow uh, now the most powerful chess engine in the world. I think we'll see again beautiful, beautiful Queen's sacrifices and all of this uh, beautiful tactical shots that we love to see in a chess game and i've uh, sorted out now one game this game that i'll show you now from the super finals uh, has been suggested to me by one of my viewers thank you again for texting me in this game you see a pure domination in 29 moves by stockfish against lila c0 and i will also show you a little bit uh, the reverse game how stockfish actually makes better progress than lila in some positions lila i think didn't find uh, the best solution in, in the middle game stage so Lila played I think simply too passively Stockfish always finds the most most aggressive ideas that's why Stockfish is as I mentioned in the lead has now a decisive decisive situation in this super final of the computer rapid chess championship in 2024 so let's dive now into this game with the white pieces the fish open with the move e4 e6 by Lila the French d4 d5 knight to d2 the Tarash variation uh, e takes uh, d takes e4 knight to e4 knight to d7 this is now the so-called blackburn defense uh we don't want to play of course knight to f6 immediately you could do it but then after knight to f6 the queen gets a little bit exposed so this is just a, a, a sideline that maybe black is trying to avoid is playing knight to d7 and then afterwards this knight from g to f6 we have now bishop to d3 by the fish now comes knight from g to f6 d3 simply keeping of course the structure uh here on the queen side healthy and now c5 we have now the move knight to f3 and now the last move by that was pre-arranged by the organizer was now the move b6 and this move is actually not the optimal way here to proceed uh for black the best way is here to simply play bishop to e7 then after something like knight to f6 knight to f6 d takes c5 queen to c7 calcing calcing and we would reach i think a common position a good position now playable for both sides but here from b6 uh stockfish continues with bishop to g5 also i will mention lila played also this continuation so so far uh, the engines are following probably the best moves here after bishop to g5 what you cannot do is now finally to play the move bishop to e7 which would be then very risky because after knight to f6 and uh, knight to f6 d takes e5 can happen now it's a completely different story you run into this maybe sequence and now uh, things are very very hard to defend already if you castle too early bishop to f6 then queen to h7 will have and um white has i think already already a nice attacking formation will maybe in some lines play play even queenside casting then the rook after queenside castle will be on the default maybe this other rook can be included into the game so very unpleasant already position to handle after potential here uh bishop to e7 that black should have played earlier instead of this move b6 as i mentioned that was pre-arranged by the organizer for bishop to g5 we have now bishop to b7 uh, by lila c0 knight takes f6 here already by the fish if you play now knight to f6 this wasn't playing the game then again it gets uh, very messy here after the slight score problems with queen to a4 uh we can maybe cover that then bishop to uh bishop to b5 again simply wins the game here for white so that's why for knight to f6 the issue is that actually you have to mess up now your pawn structure with the move g takes f6 bishop to f4 here by uh stockfish 17 bishop to g7 and now queen to e2 preparing now queen side casting here by the fish we have now c takes d4 and now comes the difference between stockfish 17 and also by lila c0 you see now a huge huge differences in approach because uh here after c takes d4 what stockfish did is really the most aggressive way to proceed in uh, stockfish played now the amazing queen side casting in in, in um in um, lila c0's game uh here lila didn't play queenside castle play simply knight to d4 which is i think not a good way you see now why after something like casting and castling or maybe queenside casting here the issue is that stockfish in its own game with the black pieces played here a solid knight to e5 
manage somehow to cement the position in the center of the board you see now this knight is very very hard uh, to face it's very well placed it's centralized from this uh, from this square it has of course great attacking chances and that was actually a uh, stockfish defensive approach here against lila c0 uh, and the game ended actually with a draw so stockfish managed to uh, defend this position somehow so c after c takes d4 uh, lila took knight takes d4 but stockfish played here instead of uh, knight takes d4 an aggressive queen side casting so the fish is very very the most aggressive chess engine in the world it's simply the sharpest attacker is basically saying show me what you got what are you going to do now because there is already the tension on the default the king is very very weak here you have to secure it somewhere so that's why lila tried kingside casting even if you try here something like d takes c3 maybe to continue uh, to take pawns here on the queen side and maybe you're trying somehow to endanger a white king here on c1 it's not working because of bishop to b5 and now after something like this you have to cover now your knight with bishop to c8 very passive and then after for bishop to d6 i'm not sure what black is going to do now in the last couple of moves you see the king is simply stuck here uh, we will of course double up here on the default we'll simply continue the pressure i think uh, tactically this is game over already for black so after queenside casting that's why kingside casting by lila c0 stockfish doesn't even care for this pawn on d4 like we've seen lila took it but stockfish is saying i have already already great attacking chances with bishop to d3 here with this this very active bishop with the possibility maybe to get with the knight into the game the rook is very active Stockfish which simply improves a little bit the position of the bishop is threatening now dangerous dangerous tactics with queen to d3 and maybe delivering a checkmate already on h7 so queen to c8 by lila trying to do something uh here on this side of the board rook takes d4 by the fish the issue is uh here you cannot play e5 seems tempting seems like you maybe uh winning your piece but then after knight to h4 you can get your rook but look at this again the stuff queen to d3 f5 knight to f5 now the knight could maybe cover uh here the square h7 but then of course knight to e7 uh you get the royal fork and again it would be game over uh, here for black so you see rook to d4 incredible incredible tactics allowing here even e5 but you saw it leads into a complicated game and for black after rook to d4 that's why knight to c5 by lila so it, lila is trying to battle this knight is okay very well placed at least it's protecting some uh somehow the position it's now active and lila is trying to do some counter play of course uh here on the c file stock which continues with rook to d2 rook to e8 knight to d4 e5 here by lila c0 again the fork stockfish again allows uh this dangerous fork against two pieces but now obviously knight to f5 we have e takes f4 stockfish sacrifice now a piece but has now this very very aggressive knight on f5 the issue is now you cannot play i would say here uh, knight to e7 uh the royal fork because then black will simply play king to f8 and then you can grab the queen but also black will grab the king the queen and now in this sequence uh black would have actually two minor pieces for the rook which is uh, enough compensation not enough it's much much better position here for black i think in ai chess uh this is completely completely winning for lila c0 so that's why after e takes f4 uh that um um uh, here lila c0 played stockfish continues obviously with queen to g4 is threatening now the immediate checkmate on g7 we have now knight to e6 by lila c0 protecting now uh this bishop on g7 and now rook from h to d1 including now the last piece into the attack now all of the pieces are simply on the optimal scores and you know when the fish is building such a such a uh, an amazing attacking formation you can guess that probably something wild is going to happen for sure so here after move rook to d1 the only way the only way that my stockfish engine at home suggests that you should play is maybe with queen to c5 maybe you're trying to hold this position somehow then allow maybe something like i don't know h4 h4 h5 h6 is then the threat and then you're trying maybe i don't know king to h8 it's not working for instance in this position because after rook to d7 bishop to c6 then you get this one uh then you're getting destroyed maybe here bishop to c8 can be played but then 
uh, again rook to d8 can be very messy you have to of course uh, step back here if you try something like this uh, then the knight can get deflected from the defense of the g7 square and it would be again game over so after rook to d8 you would be pretty much forced to play bishop to b7 and now white would actually threat here with rook to d6 the tactic rook takes e6 and then the checkmate then you have to play i don't know something like queen chop two takes and then uh, maybe with this line i don't know trying to trade off the queens but still it's risky look at this knight to h6 uh checking job eight now you again threaten checkmate and now the only way as i said to hold somehow this position uh for black is to go into this line and then after rook takes e8 rook takes e8 queen chop six uh here i would still say a much much better position for uh white black has of course this two uh two pawns here uh has when it comes to really uh, pure material, it is about equal the position, but uh, we have to say king is very endangered. Uh, the queen will come on the seventh rank. The rook can come on the seventh rank. This is weak. You try maybe I don't know queen to g2, then you p lose this one. So very very tough to uh, a tough position of course to face here from black's perspective. So that's why for rook from uh, h to d1, Lila made another mistake in the game. Didn't play the optimal as we said. Queen to c5 played now a risky f3 try to do something there but stockfish doesn't care split now beautiful rogue to d7 uh again even if you try i don't know something like knight to g5 here then knight takes g7 knight to king takes g7 and h4 again wins the piece back so i would say again a much much better position for white so that's why for rook to d7 we have f takes g2 which is now a new blunder by lila c0 and now uh, there's nothing that can be done stop which is playing now an incredible incredible tactical sequence first of all with knight to h6 we have king to h8 if you go of course here uh then you get checkmate in one with rook to f7 that's the beauty about this rook on the seventh rank after knight to h6 we have king to h8 uh now comes knight takes f7 we have king to g8 and now a beautiful stunning follow-up bishop takes h7 sacrificing simply the bishop if you pick it up, I wanted to show you, this wasn't playing the game, but mm, now it gets very, very tricky here. Look at this, queen to h5, king to g8, and now you get queen to h8. Uh, this would be an immortal, immortal tactical shot, unfortunately for the beauty of the game. This wasn't Lila's continuation, but I wanted to show you after this bishop to h7, if you pick up the piece. Look at this, queen to h8, bishop to h8, knight to h6 check. You have to go to f8, and then again, this beautiful pattern here with rook to f7 game over here for black so after bishop to h7 that's why lila tried uh king to f8 didn't take it out because it was a forced checkmate sequence but is a forced checkmate sequence anyway now comes knight to e5 incredible incredible tactic uh here by uh stockfish if you try something like this then queen to f5 again uh, leads into checkmate so here that's why after knight to e5 we have bishop to h6 the check stop which steps back bishop to e4 this just prolongs the game here after a couple more moves uh, knight to g6 king to f7 rook takes d7 rook to e7 and now after rook takes e7 it was an amazing checkmate delivered by the beautiful knight and uh, rook's activity so great great game great attack here by the fish sacrificing again this piece in the middle game state just in order to open the position in front of black's king uh, you saw the differences uh in the approach by stockfish and also by lila c0 let's go back as i said to this critical moment after queen to e2 and c takes d4 uh lila played here knight takes d4 in the game with the white pieces allowed here uh this move knight to e5 were I think okay white is still much much better but uh, black has i think somehow uh the position that maybe black can hold uh stockfish as i said managed to defend his position and got a draw stockfish on the other hand after c takes d4 played the more aggressive queen side casting and uh, demolished really lila c zero's defense incredible immortal game here by stockfish 17. so okay i hope that you enjoyed this game i really really enjoyed it a lot great great attack here by the fish if you want to see some other spectacular beautiful sharp tactical games like this uh, check out our come to chess games play by computers here's the link of our playlist and if you like this content hit the subscribe button see you soon with some more videos and what do we say in the end chess is the best of course